it's Karen and I hope you're having an amazing weekend. I have a couple deliveries that I want to share with you. First, I have my January 2014 Birch Box. Birch Box is a monthly beauty subscription program. They send you for $10 every month about four to five beauty samples and it can be skincare, hair care, cosmetics. And the sizes kind of vary. Sometimes they're full size every once in a while. Sometimes they're little foil packets. But it is always interesting things. I think they send out a good selection of brands and they have a fabulous point system online where you can do little feedbacks on each item you get and then redeem it for points, which turns into dollars in their online shop. Get yourself some nice things that you wouldn't ordinarily splurge on. So I don't want to waste any time. I'm going to pop right in here. And their cards are all cute and pretty this month. They've got the go time theme and for 2014 they went and sent out some adorable cards. Oh, hi Abby, are you gonna jump in on the video? I don't think anyone's ever seen you before. Boy, you good. Hey. The first product is pretty cool. It is by Nail Rock. It is a nail art kit. It has a full-size nail polish and a jar of actual glitter. So you paint your nail and then you dip it in the glitter so you can get like all hardcore fancy awesomeness going on. Now, I think this is a really cute idea and I'd like to try it, but I have a friend who is obsessed with glitter. And just looking at it, I feel like I should set this aside for her because it's, it just screams her name. So I, I don't think that I'll be trying this one out. Hopefully it is very good quality. I'll probably check out some reviews and see what people think of it. If you've tried it, let me know what you think in the comments down below. The next item is pretty cool. It is the Chlorine Dry Shampoo. And I've never tried a dry shampoo before. I decided to test this out this morning before the gym. I had the mistaken impression that it would fix my crazy bedhead hair, and it doesn't. It does make my hair feel like clean and smell fantastic. And I just, you know, other than that, I look a little bit insane. It was very convenient though not to have to shower before the gym and then shower again. So it's definitely a really cool product. I'm gonna keep playing with it and see if I can find a way to tame my hair while I'm using it so I can actually skip a wash day every now and then like they say you, you're supposed to or something. The next item I got is a little bit weird. It is a mascara. It's 100% pure and it's fruit pigment mascara. And here is the brush. I did just try this out a moment ago. I managed to misplace it so I didn't put it on earlier today. And it smells. It smells really strongly of fruit. I think that's kind of weird. <laughs> Usually uh, my cosmetics don't smell like anything. Um, so it's just kind of strange to be like, but I mean, it's a very pretty smell. I just think that's a weird trait. So I'm not too sure what I think about it. It's definitely doesn't add any volume at all. It's with like the thinner, like spider webby, spindly kind of lashes. And I don't think that's my favorite look, but that's probably mostly the brush talking and not anything else. It's definitely interesting if you like scented products and if you are going for kind of a natural look. The next item I haven't tried yet, it is the, I'm sure I'm gonna say this wrong, Huana Candle Nut Body Cream. And Beauty Secrets from Bali. Ooh, this isn't my favorite kind of packaging, but whatever. I'm gonna tear this open and give it a try. Oh, there's hardly anything in here. Oh, dude. Kinda of hard to test a body cream without much of a sample. Sure does smell nice though, oof. And it's very, very moisturizing. So from what I can tell, it's pretty nice. And the last thing they included is just a lifestyle extra. It's not considered one of the beauty products that you get. They sent me some tea again, and this is by Ahmed Teeds. My problem is they had just sent me some Mighty Leaf teas. I'm not much of a tea drinker, but I fell in love with the Mighty Leaf. So I'm not sure. I'll probably hold off on trying these a little bit, but I'm not complaining. I think tea is kind of an interesting thing to get in the box. So overall, I think it was kind of an exciting mix of products this month with the mascara and the dry shampoo, the body cream and an entire nail art kit, and some possibly delicious teas. If you got your birch box already, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. As always, they have a ton of variation in the boxes. It's so exciting to see what everyone got and what they think of it. 
As always, thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic night. Bye.